Hello and welcome to In Affinity. Sometimes you see pictures which have the colours like really rich and deep and they look really good and you wonder how they've done that. And colours often like that are kind of darkened but at a different rate, you know, from the light to the dark in a you know, different way. A simple way of, of creating that is using blend modes. To look at that, well, first of all, look at this here, it's just got these fades here, there's a gradual fade from red here to black and other colours to black and then and to white and so on. So I'm going to go through the blend modes and watch what happens when we do this. To do this let's duplicate the layer with Control J and then the top layer we're going to put a blend mode on. And nothing much happens at the top. Multiply is where it first happens. Now look at the difference now. This is normal this is multiply, See, this is normal, this is multiply. And see what happens with the colours, say, going moving to black. It gets to black quicker, yeah? And when it's going to white, it doesn't get to white as quick. So it's, in other words, biased towards the black, which, because it's a darkened mode, so you kind of might expect that. But it helps it to get the pitch to go a bit richer. The other thing to do is to do overlay. And when you go to overlay, now you see it takes a little while, but then once it gets, it, it starts going, it goes relatively quickly to, to black and similarly to white. The other contrast modes which are below this, they do other sort of rates of things, but they just don't, in the real picture, they don't look as nice. So overall, your choices are really multiply and overlay. So let's have a look at that on a real picture. So here's the picture here. You don't actually have to duplicate it just to do a blend mode change. All you need is an adjustment in. So you could put in something like, say, curves. But don't, you know, here's the, the curves thing. But you don't need to move this. In fact, we'll just turn it off. And we'll use the blend mode control here. So let's look at those effects. So we'll, first of all, we'll go to multiply. See there, that's immediately darkened it. So you might have to lighten it again afterwards, but you've got that richening of the colours. See, work without and multiply, without, multiply. So you can do that. But if you can do just one um, blend, then the better better one is usually overlay. So see there, it's a, it's a lot brighter. You've got, got all the detail. So there we've got none, overlay, none, overlay. If you start going down to the others, so it's, Soft light, it's not, not as rich. Hard light, it, it's, you know, it, it's a bit more so that you, that's usable in this. But when we get to vivid light, look at the, 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 the roof. See, it's, it's gone completely white. The sky has gone completely white. And in it down to vivid linear light again. So by and large, overlay is generally a pretty good for a quick Let's make the colours a bit richer. All you need to do is do an overlay blend. Um, and you do it by adding any adjustment like curves. And don't touch the curve, just change the blend mode here to overlay. And that's a really quick way of making it just a bit richer. And uh, if it's a bit too much for you, what you can always do is go to the opacity here and take this and make that go you know, bring that down to where you like. Or if you want to get more, just go to the curves layer and if you hit Control J to duplicate it, you've got, you've got it multiplied. But then again, if that's gone too far, you can again bring it down so you can get, I know, like an overlay and a half or something. So there we go. First way of making colors richer using the overlay blend. Thank you very much for watching.